the United States Department of Veterans Affairs is a cabinet-level executive branch department of the federal government charged with integrating lifelong health care services to eligible military veterans at the 1700 VA medical centers and outpatient clinics located throughout the country. Non-health care benefits include disability compensation, vocational rehabilitation, education assistance, home loans, and life insurance and provides burial and memorial benefits to eligible veterans and family members at 135 national cemeteries. While veterans' benefits were provided by the federal government since the American Revolutionary War, a veteran-specific federal agency was not established until 1930. As the Veterans Administration In 1982, its mission was extended to a fourth mission to provide care to non-veterans and civilians in case of national emergencies, such as the COVID-19 pandemic of 2020. In 1989 the Veterans Administration became a cabinet-level Department of Veterans Affairs. As of June 2020, the VA employs 412,892 people at hundreds of Veterans Affairs medical facilities, clinics, benefits officers, and cemeteries. In fiscal year 2016 net program costs for the department were $273 billion, which includes the VBA actuarial cost of $106.5 billion for compensation benefits. The long-term actuarial accrued liability is $2.491 trillion for compensation benefits, $59.6 billion for education benefits, and $4.6 billion for burial benefits. The agency is led by the Secretary of Veterans Affairs, who, being a cabinet member, is appointed by the President. The history and evolution of the U.S. Department of Veterans Affairs is inextricably intertwined and dependent on the history of America's wars, as wounded soldiers is the population the VA care for. The list of wars involving the United States from the American Revolutionary War to the present totals 99 wars. The majority of the United States military casualties of war, however, occurred in the following eight wars. American Revolutionary War, World War II, Iraq War, War in Afghanistan. It is these wars that have primarily driven the mission and evolution of the VA. The VA maintains a detailed list of war wounded as it is the population that comprises the VA care system. The Continental Congress of 1776 encouraged enlistments during the American Revolutionary War by providing pensions for soldiers who were disabled. Direct medical and hospital care given to veterans in the early days of the U.S. was provided by the individual states and communities. In 1811, the first domiciliary and medical facility for veterans was authorized by the federal government, but not opened until 1834. In the 19th century, the nation's veterans assistance program was expanded to include benefits and pensions not only for veterans, but also their widows and dependents. After the end of the American Civil War in 1865, many state veterans' homes were established. Since domiciliary care was available at all state veterans' homes, incidental medical and hospital treatment was provided for all injuries and diseases whether or not of service origin, indigent and disabled veterans of the Civil War, Indian Wars, Spanish-American War, and Mexican border period as well as discharged regular members of the armed forces were cared for. At these homes, during this period two of the three predecessors of the Veterans Administration were established, the Bureau of Pensions in 1832, and the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers in 1865. Congress established a new system of veterans' benefits when the United States entered World War I. In 1917, included were programs for disability compensation, insurance for service persons and veterans, and vocational rehabilitation for the disabled. The Veterans Bureau was established in August 1921, absorbing the War Risk Bureau and the Rehabilitation Division of the Federal Board for Vocational Education. In 1922, it gained a large number of veterans' hospital facilities from the Public Health Service, most of which had been recently established on former U.S. Army bases. By the 1920s, the various benefits were administered by three different federal agencies, 
the Veterans Bureau, the Bureau of Pensions, and the National Home for Disabled Volunteer Soldiers. The establishment of the Veterans Administration came in 1930 when Congress authorized the President to consolidate and coordinate government activities affecting war veterans. The three component agencies became bureaus within the Veterans Administration. Brigadier General Frank T. Hines, who directed the Veterans Bureau for seven years, was named as the first Administrator of Veterans Affairs, a job he held until 1945. The close of World War II resulted in not only a vast increase in the veteran population, but also a large number of new benefits enacted by Congress for veterans of the war. In addition, during the late 1940s, the VA had to contend with aging World War I veterans.